there. Welcome to the very first commentated video from Corp Draw. We are watching the 2014 Empire Games Store Championships in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Jason. I'm Brandon. And we're watching some Netrunner here. This is uh, Mike Clement versus Josh Fulmer, our own Josh Fulmer from Corp Draw. That it is indeed. We uh, have a pretty good match here. It's pretty wild, pretty aggressive, and you're just going to get out to a start. We've got Josh playing Gabe and Mike playing an Engineering the Future deck. Yep. Did you play against either of these decks yet? Um, I've played against um, both of them, actually. The Engineering the Future is pretty much like the Iceberg, but with some fast advanced stuff mixed in. Yep. So it's not quite as ice heavy. And the Gabe deck is pretty much just all the douchey criminal cards. Douchey criminal cards, indeed. As the players cut up their decks, we see that beautiful Corp Draw playmat. Yep. And a War Machine t-shirt. And a War Machine t-shirt. And then also Mike rep repping Desert Sky Games, another awesome store. He's on Team US or Team Us. I or... think it's Team Us. Team Us. I like US. You like US? But we'll say it's us. We'll say it's us. Here we go. Cor first Corp Draw. You know, entering the future, just so much money coming yeah, out of it. A lot of money. Like, just installing, you get that buck. And it doesn't hurt when you hedge fund into a restructure. For you just start time. with 10 credits. That's great. You can res you know, almost anything at that point. But he's leaving the R&D open. You see why he play all that money? He's got a toll booth. Yep. Really wants to protect that hand against Gabe, but that is, that is open to being abused. Yeah, right now, I mean, he could inside job, shut it down a couple times, really drain him of money, and R&D wide open. Yeah, sees nothing, though. That happens a lot with the uh, the Iceberg deck. Sometimes I, I'll just let people in to see one card. Yeah. A lot of times that you, uh, you don't see it. Once again, just moneying up. Yep, install, money up. Slowly icing everything. Indeed. I think, though, I mean, having a toll booth early, if he could get something else out, is a pretty strong piece of ice over oh, HQ. But here comes the sneak door, though. Yep. He's not going to gain two bucks. He's going to see a card in his hand, which is obviously being protected. And yep. I, would, I would... Beta bid test. I would venture we're going to see something else out of him. Some. Yep. Running again. The hand Boom. is ripe. Two, two beta, beta tests. tests. That's I mean, killer in a big ice HB deck, in my opinion. You can tell by his body language Mike isn't happy with it. Yep. He's looking for some ice. He's got the money, though. He does. But Gabe's got... He's got an Armitage out. He's got the sneak door, so he's already putting pressure there. A little protection with the fairy. So he's an Eli. I imagine he's going to go through. I think on this one he's, he does. I don't know if he does or not. We'll see. He's thinking. About I think it. I would just because you're going to get two credits out of it. You're going to see a card. You know he's protecting something. Yep. Thinking here. He's yeah. got. He's in the power position though. Four, yeah. Four points. No. He's just no. Gonna yeah. Say, but look at yep, that efficiency committee. I mean, this is just what just lucky ass runs, and he's not rezzing there. Now he rezzes it. He says you. no more. I don't. I don't know why he didn't res that in the first place though. Yeah. Me too. I was going to fix that hand. We saw an agenda in his hand already. Another efficiency committee, I believe. Yeah. I, actually, I think I saw a Vitruvius. So I think he's, oh, I yeah. think he's holding on to at least two agendas. Here. Yeah. I thought I saw a uh, an efficiency committee. Yeah, and then the body language and the words. Yep. It lets you know that he is in trouble. Yep. But Mike can uh, bounce back from this uh, in game two. If he is Did you see to. that in Josh's hand? I'm pretty sure he's sitting on an inside job and a uh, knight, too, maybe. He's just going to run the sneak door. Yep. Saw that roto turret. And when you can abuse the, the Byroid Ice like that, I mean, with Gabe, you're gaining money. Yeah. He's obviously not happy with the situation. And while the crowds keep coming in for the, the HB player, the ice isn't. Yep. I think you really... Ooh, Celebrity Gift in, in HP. Interesting splash. Yeah. He doesn't care, and he sees... He sees agendas. He sees agendas. So he knows. 
I think um, really with the Byroid Ice, it's really important to start stacking it as quick as possible to start stealing those clicks. It is, but, I mean, Gabe's putting pressure on all three servers. Absolutely. Opting to use the early sneak door, obviously with a toll booth up, he had to assume there was juiciness in his hand, so it's not a yep. bad play. No, I, not at all. I personally like to hold on to the sneak doors until yes, you do. I know they can commit, but see, now he's committing there. <laughs> Mike, once again, displaying that it, he's not feeling he, good about he is it. He's not. Not at all feeling good. Just picked up a knight, a really awesome uh, splash for his deck. He calls it Sir Gabe. And he got the shutdown, too. He's got the inside job and shutdown in his hand. Let's see what he does. Saul's a knight. I love knight. It's knight such is just a, a really card. powerful card, and it's it's splashable, and it it's kind of like that baby femme, and it lets you get through mm -hmm. early and often. You know, really, when I first saw knight, I did not like it as much as the other Kaisa, but I've really that's my favorite Kaisa yeah. program now. It's definitely the, I think it's the strongest, especially as far as, as a Netrunner card, it can be played in so many decks. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, got the restructure, just more money, piling it on, sitting on 14 credits now. I don't know how he's going to get out of this without a little bit of help from Fast Advance. His deck is only like a semi-Fast Advance deck, though. It's like halfway between Big Ice and Fast Advance. Yeah. Trying to really blend. Here. Yeah, he did. And I guess you know, HB is the the corp that can do it. Engineering the future, they can. Yeah, I mean, engineering the future, a really powerful identity, if not the most powerful identity in the HB arsenal. Yep. That money. Mike trying to f filter out his hand using the Jackson Howard to yep overdraw. How long did did he have that Jackson Howard in his hand for? The first couple times? I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't really see. I, th I think he drew into it, but he's... Uh... He might have felt a little too protected behind that toll booth. Yeah. And against Criminal, you just can't do that. I mean, he's just an inside job and emergency such shut shutdown away from not having the toll booth. Yeah. And here we go. Oh. There you go. Going for the throat. That's, that's going to hurt. Game's 12. He's not really afraid of the tags. He's the resource. He's, He's not, not going to care at this point. With one credit left, I don't think he's worried about any tag and bag in this deck. And if he's just going to pour you out, you might not even have the money to do that. So he's just going to run. Pull out those beautiful blue tags from Broken Egg Games. Yep, yeah, they are nice. Really, It's really amazing how much easier <laughs> the Broken Egg Game credits are are to read it's true at yeah. a glance i can't i can't i have no idea what's going on with the with those monies but fantastic job brandon with the credits at the bottom of the screen yeah thank you mike just trashed the uh the code busting oh he wanted to do something shorter credit yes he did taking it back what was he trying to do there And Mike is a really solid player, yeah. obviously just frustrated by the situation, as anyone could be. Sure. You got to keep a level head, though. Yeah, you do. And especially with HP, I mean, comebacks are very possible. But Josh, with that account siphon. Six is tough. And, and there it is again. A, yep, there it is again. That's tough. I think the shutdown's coming pretty soon. Desperado pumping up that HQ run. Yep. Getting if there's anything 13. that's going to put you on that's tilt gross. after losing a bunch of agendas, it's going to be a couple of count siphons. Yep. Still fumbling around with that shutdown in his hand. What's the other red card in his hand? Is that another knight? It's, yeah, I do believe so. That's game. We'll wow. Look off the top. Another efficiency committee. Quick game. What can you do? You can't do much. No, I think I think maybe the best play would have just been to to draw up with Jackson Howard first turn if that's what you have with yeah. that many agendas. I think you just try to. I think he drew into the agendas. I think he he kept what looked like a solid hand and then just kind of drew into it. 
Yeah, I think um, – yeah, it's tough. I, it's hard. Sometimes you, you just get hands like that. It's true, but – He did have the Jackson Howard to try to fix the math. That's true. That's true. You know? But there is two games to play. So we got we got one more in the can. Mike might be able to take a little bit of redemption, uh, busting out his criminal. So. Yeah, I think also what happened here is, is you really saw the early power of criminal. Yep. Let's see what's going on next. All right. <laughs> 